welcome to BCB Tinker Bench. Today we're gonna be making a Halloween wreath for our door. First, let's go over what we need to have in order to do our craft projects. You should always have a cutting mat with you if you're gonna be cutting anything so you don't mess up the surface that you're using. An X-Acto knife, which helps with precision cutting. Scissors, because you always need scissors. Your glue gun and a ton of glue sticks. And the very most important part is what you're gonna be using for your craft project. We have a ton. Let's get started. So the theme for our wreath is Nightmare Before Christmas. This we actually made ourselves. It's a vacuum formed Jack Skellington that we're gonna be using for the wreath. Right now it has excess material, so we're gonna use our X-Acto knife to go around and cut it out. Give us a moment to finish cleaning this up and we'll be right back. I'm almost done here. I chose to cut out the teeth. You can leave the in-between there and just paint it black if you like. It's easier. I just wanted the look of the teeth cut out. So it's up to you what you decide to do. Okay, so now we're all done. We got it cut out. We're gonna go ahead and paint it with a quick white spray paint over it. And we're gonna paint in the eyes next with you guys. So now we got this guy painted, we're gonna go ahead and use our paint markers to paint in his eyes and his nose. All right, we're all done. So we're gonna go ahead and let this dry while we work on the rest of the wreath. Next is the tinsel on the wire frame. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it around. Now that we've wrapped our wreath, it's time to decorate. And we have a bunch of different things that we bought. We're not sure exactly how we're gonna do it, but we bought some flowers, some pumpkins. We have this that we're gonna do uh, use for our bowl, which we're gonna put Jack Skellington right on top of it. Some more pumpkins. We got some bones, nice and glittery. More flowers, mini bones. And we're gonna see what we're gonna do with that. Okay, so we're gonna start off first with our bowl. Thought it was pretty neat. It has a cool pattern to it. I'm gonna place it here at the bottom. Kind of like you see other uh, wreaths that are Nightmare Before Christmas. Let me see how I'm gonna do this. That way it shows better. So I'm gonna do something like that, but doubled so that, that way it's nice and big and poofy. And then we're gonna get our Jack Skellington and we're gonna put him right in the middle of it. Okay, so here's the final look of our bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to our wreath and we're gonna put Jack right on top. I bought some pipe cleaners in black so that I can put it, I left a little gap back here, that way I can slide it through and attach the bowl to our wreath. There you go. We're gonna turn it around, tie it to the center. Now it's time to add our flowers. We have two different colors. Let's add them to the wreath. We have our flowers attached to the wreath. We went ahead and we used our pliers to help us twist the stems in the back to help secure it to the wreath. And then just added a dab, maybe more than a dab of hot glue to help secure everything together. Last thing to do is to sprinkle in some bones to add that finishing touch. So we found a place for our funny bone. Don't you find it humorous? We're now gonna add some femurs to the center of our flowers. I'm gonna add a dab of glue and they're gonna be our pistols. Okay, got some hot glue on it. We're gonna find the center, press and just hold for a moment. And that's it. Rinse and repeat. 
here we have our Nightmare Before Christmas Halloween wreath. I think it came out pretty cool. What do you guys think? Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we post a video. Leave a note in the comments letting us know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do it again. I mean, you have enough bones on the end, on the back there that nobody's gonna notice. You're my salt bait. <laughs>